the crisis that we're facing as a country um, is obviously attributed to certain um, factors where you said that climate change is one of them, but also infrastructure that is decaying, where we have seen that um, our infrastructure is not actually maintained at the rate that it should be. And obviously also it's because that within that infrastructure, we're also experiencing leaks um, where we're losing valuable water that should actually be used within our system. So it's obviously that and also the growing demand of the population that we're not able to meet the demand of the population at the rate of our water sources. So I think the, the idea is to ensure that we were addressing both the demand and supply issues, but also addressing the infrastructure part to ensure that if we are obviously able to meet the supply side, that our infrastructure is adequately placed enough to deliver the water to our communities. But where do we even start with this, uh, Lesejo? Because we've seen the level of decay in many communities around the country. And so it begins to become a little bit difficult when you think, where do you even start to solve this problem? So I think it starts with um, ensuring that our water treatment plants are actually able to treat our water according to the standards that they need to uh, prescribe to where we're obviously not having um, water systems that are polluted due to untreated water at the correct standards, but ensuring that we climate proof our infrastructure. So when we upgrade the infrastructure that we have, we ensure that uh, we climate proof it according to obviously the, the crisis that we are we are seeing in terms of the climate change impact. So we ensure that the, the infrastructure is built enough to be resilient against floods and natural disasters. Um, but I think also ensuring that within um, the urban areas, we're able to build um, and implement sustainable urban drainage systems. Because as you've seen that when we're experiencing high rainfall patterns mm. where there's floods, our infrastructure is not adequately um, built to actually accommodate the influx of water that we have. So it starts with that ensuring that we can and accommodate that and um, obviously um, reduce the, the impacts of flight.